Ukrainian families who immigrated to America brought with them a skill that turns eggs into art. It's a handmade craft and it's given as Easter gifts. The techniques are taught around the kitchen table. In this week's Experience Delaware, we meet a Dover woman whose Ukrainian art was recognized in a quintessentially American way. That first strike of the match and the candle was lit. You just feel that this is it, it's time again. And even to this day, when I do that, I just, it takes me back to the days that we made these eggs together as a family. We have four generations represented here today. My mother, her daughters, her granddaughter, and her great-granddaughter. Oh, Gabriella, you're doing well. I'm so wow, proud of you. Wow, very nice, Gabriella. We make what they call pisanki. Americans would say pisanki. Many people assume that the patterns and designs are painted or with a brush, but in actuality they are applied with uh, melted wax. Always remember to keep your stylus hot. We obtain the colors for the egg by putting the egg through several dye baths. How much were you selling them for? Flowers are uh, significant of uh, prosperity. Roosters and birds would be your fertility uh, signs. The art form is uh, usually taught by a mother to her daughter. I want them to know what I know. I'm very happy. I'm happy that my daughter is here and they, they know every, everybody knows how to do it. In um, 1940, my mother and um, my father were uh, taken as slave laborers from their village in the Ukraine and brought to Germany after the war. I was born in the refugee camp in Salzburg, Austria. There was a family in the refugee camp that my mother got to know very well and uh, they promised her that when they returned, when they come to America, they would send for her. And it took six years, but it happened, and we came to Philadelphia. This is what the Ukrainian people mostly had when they came to America. All they had left was their strong faith in God and their traditions. In 1994, First Lady Hillary Clinton started the custom of displaying an egg from every state during Easter. I've been to the White House three times for 1999, 2000, and 2001. So the first egg I made had four blue hens on it. The second egg was the state flower, the peach blossom. And then the third egg, I wanted to put down um, Amish artwork because we have a community of Amish here in Dover. I had no words to describe how I felt and a such pride for an immigrant because here I am, you know, just doing my own artwork and it, and it was sent to the White House. In the Ukrainian saying, as long as Ukrainians keep making pisamkit, good will prevail and evil will not take over. And mom taught her daughters well. Each of Olga's sisters also had eggs chosen to go to the White House to represent Pennsylvania. Turning